Welcome back to Good Morning Maine. I'm here with Patrick Gorette. He is the Maine Pond Hockey Classic Tournament Director. Pat, thank you for joining us this morning. Thank you for having me on. Of course. Do you want to talk about the tournament that's coming up? Yeah, uh, so the Maine Pond Hockey Classic is a uh, tournament we hold annually as a fundraiser for the Elfon Youth and Community Center in Waterville. Mm -hmm. um, Boys and Girls Club and YMCA there. And, um, you know, uh, we have uh, tw 10 rinks that we'll set up on, a, on Mesolonsky Lake or Snow Pond. Uh, teams come from all over. We've had teams come from, a, like, uh, players come from Hawaii last year. Cool. Uh, we had a team come from Scotland once. We have uh, up the East Coast, New Jersey, Pennsylvania. Do they register on their own so it can be kind of anybody? Uh, so the, normally uh, there's a team captain that registers and they would invite players. Cool. But, you know, generally it's like people that have played growing up together or yep. family that get together for the event. Um, so gotcha. it's really cool. It's a nice congregation point. Yeah. Uh, I, uh, I do a golf weekend with uh, some uh, buddies every summer. and I, I, It's like the winter version of a golf weekend, yeah. I think, for a lot of these guys. So. Yeah. And so, I mean, it is a pond hockey tournament. Yeah. So how is this different than other hockey tournaments? Uh, so first of all, we're outside. So yep. you're uh, at the mercy of whatever the weather element is. Uh, we play on a smaller rink. It's uh, 70 by 140, so it's uh, about 70% um, the size of a regulation hockey rink. Um, we use box goals, so there's no goalies. We play four on four, so cool. Um, it's just it, it's literally is like backyard yeah. pond hockey growing up, except for instead of shooting between two two boots or so, or a stick or something like that. You know, we got some little um, pond hockey goals. Right. Um, that look easy to score on. Uh, there's no goalie, and they're like, ah, I can score on that. But that that one foot, it's like a one foot by six inch opening on both sides. Uh, it's harder to hit than people think. Yeah, I believe it. I believe it. I'd say in a lot of cases, it's better not to have a goalie anyways. So that's a hard job. Yeah. But um, so what are the challenges you're coming up against? I know everybody's heard uh, ice derbies are being, ice fishing derbies are being canceled across the state. What challenges are you facing because of this funky weather we're having? Yeah. Um, so every, every year we seem to face some kind of weather um, challenge, right? I've, I've never had a tournament in 10 years where we've had just perfect ideal weather. Um, sometimes it's a two foot snowstorm and sometimes right. it's rain. And uh, this year it's, um, it's just been so mild that there's yeah. not a really good base sheet of ice right now. So um, normally like right now, we'd like to be out there doing some prep, um, yeah. but like I can't put a plow truck on the rink. I can't, it's, you know, it's, it's hard to do the stuff that we'd like to be doing right now. Um, and so again, it's, just like uh, during the games, you're at the mercy of uh, whatever the weather is. We're yep. kind of at the mercy of the weather, so uh, it's kind of uh, you know you, you have to accept what we can what we can prepare for and, right. and what we can't, uh, and you know we try to take control of the things that we can. So right now we're actually like scouting backup locations just nice. in case, you know, like uh, and you know and even then like those backup locations might not even be suitable uh, right. if we keep getting. You know, springtime weather in the middle of January, then right. it's going to be really hard to hold the event. Absolutely. Um, but, We've been uh, seeing like one day like that every week at least. Yeah. yeah. Um, it's definitely abnormal. Um, if you don't believe in global warming, uh, you, <laughs> might, you might want to change your stance. Right. Um, I know. And it's, it's affecting pond hockey, yeah. which is a bummer. But hey, let's say all goes well. What can people expect? Uh, so you can expect uh, right now we have 71 teams registered um, in multiple divisions. It'll be uh, three uh three days worth of um, pond hockey on 10 rinks. Cool. Um, we all have a community skating area for uh, people to come out and check out the event and skate as well. Cool. Um, we have uh, Belfast Curling Club is lined up to come do a curling demo on Sunday afternoon. Uh, we are, we'll do a youth skating uh, event on Sunday afternoon as well to bring, again, community out. We're you know, very community minded. Yep. Um, we have a beer garden. Uh, we have nice. a couple of food trucks lined up. Um, you know, again, it's just, it's a fun, festive atmosphere. If you like hockey, you like being outdoors. We have people that are ice fishing on the lake at annually that just come over and check it out because it's like, what is going on over here? Right. Um, so I, I think, I, again, that's, that's what you can expect. And I think um, uh, we hope that we can get there. Yeah, really brings the community together. Yeah. And speaking, of, like, and, and we have plenty of volunteer opportunities too. So. Gotcha. Um, and knowing that we might have, um, less ice than we normally would have. Like we might have to do more manual labor to move equipment around versus yeah. uh, relying on machines. So okay. um, sign up to volunteer. <laughs> Where can people do that? Uh, right on the website, which is www.mainpondhockey.org. Okay. Uh, and there's a volunteer link. And Excellent. And we'll have that posted um, within this video so people can access that. Awesome. Um, otherwise, how, how, do, how do tickets work? 
Uh, there's no tickets, so if you're cool. spectating, you just come down. There's a, cool. a like a check point. We do because we have alcohol. We have to have access control. Make sure people aren't bringing in their own alcohol and stuff awesome. like that. Awesome. Awesome. So yeah, you can learn everything on what was the website again? www.mainpontaki.org. Awesome. I could probably drop the www at this point. <laughs> <there>. <laughs> that sounds good. Well, Pat, thanks for joining us this morning. Absolutely. Thank you so much. Of course, we'll throw it over to weather.